What's up guys, Jeremy from East Coast. We're here today talking about Delta 8. We've had a lot of questions come up, so we wanted to shed some light so you guys knew what it was all about and you can make your own decision on whether you wanna try it or not. Uh, Delta 8 is an isomer of Delta 9 THC. If you're not familiar with Delta 9, Delta 9 is what makes us high when we smoke cannabis. Delta 8, at least for me personally, um, the effects are a little bit different. No, I'm not lethargic. Uh, I'm not, you know, flighty. My concentration's good. It's more uplifting. It's very mild, which I like. And that is the thing that people like about it. It gives similar therapeutic benefits to THC without the intoxication. Um, with the intoxication, for some people, comes anxiety, paranoia. Uh, some of these things are um, a little bit different with Delta 8. So, in terms of how it's made, Delta 8 is a quote unquote synthetic cannabinoid. Uh, it's synthesized in a lab. They use an acid to change the chemical structure, it becomes another compound. They start with CBD isolate. Now, for some people, that's a turn off. What I would say is that the FDA has indicated a number of synthetic cannabinoids. So the big thing is, where's the setting that this is being done? Is this being done in a professional laboratory or is this being done in someone's basement? That's the question that we ask as a company and that we want to know if we're selling any of these products. In terms of legality, federally, it is legal. Um, just compared to the language that's in the farm bill, uh, this is hemp derived when made from CBD isolate. That's the legal loophole that allows this product to be sold outright in the open. Now, every state has a different stance. So for instance, we're here in Rhode Island. We don't sell this product in our store because Rhode Island is one of a handful of states that it's a legal gray area or outright banned. So there are definitely places selling it in the state. Um, not a big deal. We just choose to be on the other side of that. We do sell it online because our distribution's out of another state, but you know, there's definitely a reason you would want to check into what your state laws are and what what situation Delta 8 is. We actually wrote a blog article, so check that out. It spells out state by state what the legalities currently are in each uh, place. Um, the last thing I'll talk about is safety. And I think that's the most important thing. What we don't know about this compound is similar to CBD or any other compound. What are the long-term effects? That's yet to be seen. Anyone who's gonna tell you differently, like it's super safe long-term, they don't know the reality of it. Um, I use these products regularly, so my concern is not really considering that. You might be different and that's worth thinking about. Um, what we do as a company to ensure that we're given products or selling products that are you know the most safe is we get full panel testing so it tests for everything from um, pesticides residual solvents to contaminants of any kind and for potency so we're just making sure we're doing our due diligence to give the most safe product out now in terms of smoking it Smoking has its own health risks. I don't need to go in that. Everybody knows that. You kind of have to make your own decision based on you know, how to do that. What a lot of people don't know is that there are other products though. Edibles, tinctures, uh, a completely different effect. What I would say is if you're interested in Delta 8, learn a little bit about it, know what it's all about, then you can make the best decision for yourself and you know, how you want to use it. 